Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is about the Devin White demanding for a trade or requesting a trade in this case. Uh, I think some people might think this is to like get more money, but I think it is to get more money, but I think it's to get it on a different team. You've seen it happen before, like Tyreek Hill, for an example. He gets traded, he gets paid. The Sean Watson gets traded, he gets paid. Uh, who's somebody else? Russell Wilson gets traded, he gets paid. It seems like when there's these trades, they get paid right away. So maybe they're not looking at what he's looking at for in terms of a deal. So right now he's available on the market. And also, uh, Greg Newsome is available, apparently. Well, I don't say necessarily available because they could just deny it from trading him. But he requested a trade as well. And those are two good options for any team. I think Devin White would fit best like Bills, Giants. Uh, no, I would say Ravens, but he, I mean, they already have good linebackers, possibly Chargers, Bengals, maybe Titans, teams that need me in the linebackers, Colts, possibly because they lost Okereke to us. But those are all teams that need them in a linebacker. But you gotta ask if, say, you're a team or like the Giants, for example, because it's a Giants channel, do we have or would we have used our second round pick on a middle linebacker? Because it's probably gonna take that. At least, yeah, it's the only thing is second round pick. It's not gonna take a first round pick to get Devin White, but I would definitely think, think it would be a second round pick. So, if you're a GM and you don't plan really to spend a second round pick on a middle linebacker, are you gonna trade that second round pick for Devin White, or do you draft one, draft the middle linebacker that, that you are developing? I mean, Devin White is an outstanding player, I would love him in the swing Martindale scheme. It all depends on what how you value the position if you're willing to give up that high of a draft pick. But also, for the, the Giants, it'd probably be a late second-round pick. Well, because we have the late second-round pick, so I guess it wouldn't be all that bad. If you're getting a really good player like this guy, I don't mind it, but it's it's how the GM views the position. Like, where can you find this? Can you find it in the third round, fourth round? You If you could find him, if you think you have him in a linebacker in the draft, I probably wouldn't do the trade. But I think Devin White would be so fun to watch next to Okereke. You saw, uh, like, the Eagles, for example, TJ Edwards, and who was the other middle linebacker they have? It's TJ Edwards and somebody, because uh, you're white. I mean, because you're white, not, maybe the, he's above average middle linebacker. And TJ Edwards is an absolute stud. But look how good the run defense was with two really good middle linebackers. But we would have a versatile, really fast middle linebacker. This guy runs a 4 4 40. In a Wink Martindale defense, we could have finally probably covered the tight ends. For any team, this would just be an insane player to have. I wonder, but you wonder if they'll even trade him just because of his talent. Maybe they'll give him the money, but maybe he wants out because he doesn't really see the team going anywhere. But I don't, I, I don't, it was a little surprising. But also, the Greg Newsome demanding for a trade, I don't, that was also a little surprising to me. I didn't really expect that to happen. I'd be, I'd rather give up a second round pick for Greg Newsome. Personally, then give up a second round pick for Devin White. Not because I think he's a better player or anything, just because I think it's more position of need for us. Because you also got to think, um, we have Okereke, which we spent the money on. So we're probably either drafting one, maybe third round or later. But we also have uh, middle linebacks we drafted last draft, like Darian Beavers and Micah McFadden. Darian Beavers was killing it in training camp before he tore his ACL against the Bengals in the preseason. He's a really good player in Cincinnati when he uh before he tore his ACL in the NFL. But I think he could be a really good player for us. They love that guy. Wink Martindale loved him. So he's also another fast little linebacker. Anyways, just a quick update. Don't mean to make the uh, video too long. Uh, also, even though it's not, it might seem like much, but thank you guys for 100 subscribers. You know, it's not the biggest of the numbers, but you put that put 100 people in one room. It's a lot of people. So thank you guys. And see you guys on the next video. Peace.